Hello everyone, it's Amanda Bach from Box Star Stamping, back with another Facebook Live. All right, if you hop on, please say hello so I can say hello back to you. Just get my comments up on my iPad in front of me. All righty, lots to discuss. First of all, celebration is almost over. Celebration goes to the end of August. Hey, Vesta. So there's the things in this brochure plus some things that Stampin' Up! added on August 1st. All of that can be found at, hey, Kathy, at stampingup.com and go to the celebration ca uh, catalog area. Oh, do the segment called, what did I make this week? So I've been trying my hardest to use up my stash of beautiful designer series paper from Stampin' Up! And thanks to Kathy, my upline, um, I have a lot of paper that's older and I love it and so and having so much fun. So I found some paper when I was going through my Christmas um, area called Deck the Hall, I believe that's what it's called. And I came up with this. This is just a five by three and three quarters piece of designer series paper. I found an old label punch. This is from the Poinsettia Place. And our new festive uh, pearls. That's in the current mini catalog, though. So I'd like to combine a little old and a little new. So after I used, because they were six by six pieces of paper, after I used that, that left me with two and a quarter strips of paper. So here's what I did with that. So I matted it on cherry cobbler. I found a piece of uh, gold paper. No sound. <gasps> oh. Can anybody else not hear me? Let me see if I turn myself up. Well, I can hear me. Oh, I can hear me if I turn myself up on my iPad. I think it might just be you, Vesta. Um, this is encircled in beauty dyes. These are some wonderful gems. Yeah. Okay, you can see the sparkle in them. I thought it, it brought out the gold in this paper a little bit. So that's what I did with the strips. Okay, so then I had even smaller strips to play with. So next and last. I used the little strips I had left, um, and I combined it with some other Cherry Cobbler designer series paper I had. This is a current stamp set. Let me grab it because I love it. It's right over here. The Brightest Glow. It's in the current mini catalog, and it has these beautiful dyes, um, which I used. And I love it. And then again, I combined it with the Poinsettia Place um, dyes, which just, they were in the last mini catalog. All right, and on the inside, what did I do? There we go, I put a strip of the paper. Again, just, you've probably got some half inch strips of paper. Put them on the inside of your card. Just doctors them up. So that's my three renditions from the six by six paper. Oh, good, Vesta. Um, so this is the, <coughs> sorry, I just ate and now I've got gunky throat. This is five by three and three quarters, and that left me with a two and a quarter inch piece. And then after I trimmed that down, that left me with, I think this is three quarters by three and three quarters. So I put uh, some of them on there. And can you tell I embossed it with the retired embossing folder? I think it's called Swirls and Curls. I also did it um, with Tasteful Textile embossing folder. And I, you know what? I like this one better. Okay, so that's what I made. And one more version of what did I make this week? Okay, so I was gifted recently with a bunch of things, and I am so grateful. So someone gifted me a bunch of this paper. This was the 2017 through 2019 end colors. This is Berry Burst. And I have a bunch of this paper, and I was like, oh, perfect, because I have a bunch of Berry Burst left. Actually, I have a bunch of the cardstock left from that, that year. So I plan on using it all up. And I have some ribbon, so... I paired it with the Butterfly Brilliance. I believe these are called Brilliant Wings dies. They are current in our annual catalog. And I did them in some velvet paper. This is so soft. It's velvet paper. And I put a ribbon on it. And this is Pretty Label Punch. This is like my favorite label ever. <laughs> and it's retired now. But you know me. I am hashtag use your stash, right? Use your stash. So I want to show you the other ribbons as well. This was like a crinkled bind, seam bind ribbon. I forget what it's called, but you know what I mean. It's crinkly. And then this is my one of my favorite ribbons ever. The one that had the little sparkly metallic edge to it. So basically the same card, just um, I used three different ribbons. So there we go for those. 
All right, so let's get to today's project because I am really excited to show you it. Um, as I mentioned in my last live, I got my paper pumpkin, which unfortunately was so popular there will not be refills, and I am genuinely bummed about that because I was planning on getting a whole bunch. Um, the set is called Sweet Sunflowers. Now, after you've used up all your goodies, all the die cuts, all the card bases, you're left with this beautiful stamp set. I'm going to grab it here. And I only have a little bit of it because guess what? We're using a stamp set and I'm using all those other stamps tonight. So I want to show you how to, how to use your stamps. The stamp set is beautiful. It's got this gorgeous sunflower, some leaves, some sprigs, the little bees. They're so cute. So I want to show you what I did with that. All right. Let me grab all my stuff here. I will also be using Celebrate Sunflowers. It's in our annual catalog and the dies. And actually, it's the dies I'm going to be using. Um, yeah, let me just show you the two dies that we're using. This is in our annual catalog. I will be using this beautiful sunflower die and its middle. Okay, so we're going to use that in just a second, but not yet. But not yet. All right, so what you're going to need is a piece of paper. That is, let me measure it real quick, seven and a half by five. Seven and a half by five. I know that's a weird size. Seven and a half by five. And I'm going to quick grab my stamp and pierce mat. It's right behind me. Because these are photopolymer stamps, I would like a little extra cushion as I'm going to stamp. And I've got a piece of paper that we're going to use to put under it. And I'm dropping literally everything. Awesome. Can you tell I already stamped? Huh? Yep. Okay. There we go. I'm going to start with your my biggest image, and I'm going to be using crushed curry. The biggest image in this stamp set is the sunflower image. All right, let's get that over so we can frame a little better. All right, and I am just going to start there. I am random. I am trying so hard to just be random. I'm going to turn my stamp just a little bit. Put it there. I'm gonna put one off the page over here. Maybe off the page there. Just being random, making my own designer series paper background. I'm gonna put one just a little bit off here. There we go. Then I'm gonna do the same thing up here or down here, just a little bit so you can see. Okay, stop while you're ahead. Stop while you're ahead. Okay, close that up because you know you know what happens. You know what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and do my middles. An early espresso. So the middle of a stamp. I'm gonna put as close to the middle as I can. If yours isn't perfect, don't worry because you know you're not a machine. At least I hope not. That would be kind of weird. All right, so let's say you didn't get this paper pumpkin. You can use the, you can use this and the leaves to kind of create the, the same thing or any other stamp set you might have. Just, just give me some ideas. One more. All right, now I wanna, see that wasn't perfect. I'm gonna let it go, don't care. I'm gonna take a risk, I'm gonna leave this open because I need it again in a second. Let's see what happens. All right, Granny Apple Green, a super bright green. I love it. You could also use Parakeet Party. We're going to do the leaves. And I'm not, like, attaching them to the sunflowers. I'm just stamping them. And I really am trying to be random. That was a terrible stamp. Oh, well, maybe I'll cover it up. Ha <laughs> All right, so it's always best when you're making your own designer series paper, start with your largest image first. And work your way down. I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. I will probably cover that up, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, I am done with the green, so close that puppy. There we go. Next, Blackberry Bliss, because I love Blackberry Bliss. And I kind of took my cue from this. This was either Blackberry Bliss or Rich Razzleberry. Um, I thought either one would look nice, so that's why I grabbed this color. Okay, here we go. And it's the little sprig from the stamp set. 
and it's stained because I already stamped it once in Blackberry Bliss. Turn it a little bit. So only a few more days to um, get your celebration items if you wish to place an order. Make sure you choose me as your demonstrator, Amanda Bach. And if you have any questions, email me at boxstarstamping at gmail.com and I'll get back with you ASAP. I still have to place my last order for, for celebration as well. I still have one more order I'm going to place. So if you've placed an order with me in July, I still have not sent out your thank you cards yet and your gifts yet. So if you're like, where is it? It's coming. It's coming. I just I haven't, I haven't mailed it yet. Okay. And last but not least, we have these adorable bees that I'm going to do in the early espresso. That's why I left it open. All right. So we've got one that's like flying. We're going to put it there. Oh, so cute. I'm going to turn my stamp. Each time I do it, I'm just going to turn my stamp a little bit. Can you hear the cicadas? Yeah, they're super loud. They love to scream. Can you imagine living your life just screaming all of the time? They seem to do that. All right, now I'm going to turn it over the other little bee on the other side. Just going to fill in some more holes. And I even thought if I had one and I just I'm sure I do a small splatter stamp um, I thought would probably look good to fill in the like even more holes but I just wasn't going to be too worried about it okay I don't want to overdo it I'm going to stop there no I have one more thing to stamp <gasps> one more thing to stamp okay you're going to need um I think I have just a half inch strip of basic white just a half inch strip and it's just a, it, it doesn't need to be any particular length. It just needs to be long enough for the thank you. And I'm going to put it over here. There we go. Okay. Now I can close that. Let's start with this since it's out on my desk. I'm going to use my paper snips and I'm going to cut it off right about there-ish. Does not need to be exact. I've got my banners pick a punch. I like to go from the back and I want to use this one. So I'm going to stick it in there. I like to make sure it is centered before I punch it. And so, so since I have a super small strip, it's kind of hard. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Get out my little tiny post -it note. Look at there. Boop. There we go. Gives me a little more room to control it. There we go. I'm going to try to get it as centered as I can. Mm -hmm. And of course I could hand cut it as well, but you know, I like this punch, so I use it a lot. Okay, there we go. All right, you have your piece of paper. Next, you are going to cut it. I've got to sit for this with my trimmer at three and three quarters. You have two card fronts now, two card fronts. We're gonna use this one, two card fronts. All right, stand back up here. We're going to layer it on a piece of five and a quarter by four. So this is three and three quarters by five. This is five and a quarter by four. Bring out that early espresso. And then our card base is crushed curry which is just your standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I'm looking for my bone folder. There we go, we'll give it a good burnish. All right, there we go. All right, let's get to gluing, shall we? Shall we? All right. So I can't believe that August is almost over, but it is, and I think that every month. But the summer sure flew by. A few weekends ago, I was up at my lovely in-law's house learning how to make my mother-in-law's pickles, and I have one more week on that before we're gonna crack a, crack a quart jar open and see if those are good. I can't wait. I can't wait to try that. Party pickle party weekend. I think we're going to try to make it an annual thing, maybe. That was fun. 
Okay, there's my card base. Now, it needs something, right? Sure does. I die cut one of those beautiful sunflowers from the sunflowers dies, which are in the back of the annual catalog on page 175. And I cut out the middle. So now I'm gonna carefully glue that together. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue around. You know what? I'm also gonna get out my silicone craft sheet, which is right behind me here. There we go. Okay, nothing sticks to it. So if I don't get it quite perfect, I'm not gonna get my table gross or my card gross or something like that. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to glue that, I think, right about, hmm, right about there. And I'm going to be careful and try to just get where there's cardstock so I'm not seeping through the holes. Okay. It's a beautiful die. Let's see, I think it's speaking that it wants to go right there. Yep, did you hear it? I heard it, I heard it. It was like, put me right there. Yep, all right, so our thank you needs to be put up on some dimensionals, don't you think it over. And with a pencil, just gonna kinda make a line so I don't put my dimensionals past that mark. All right. Okay, so I refreshed my phone. I have, yeah, updated my phone. I don't know. No one else is home, so I don't know why I can't have good internet. Probably all my neighbors are streaming stuff. Who knows? Probably that new Game of Thrones show. I'm sure that's it. Looky there. Oh, love it. Now, we need a little bling, so I'm doing the brushed brass butterflies. Yes, it was, Betty. I enjoyed it so much. I think the kids enjoyed it as well. They keep telling their friends about the pickles, so I think they're excited about the pickles, too. There we go. There is my super simple card, but we have to do the inside, right? We can't, we can't not do the inside. So, I just have a five and a quarter by four piece of cardstock of the basic white, and I'm just going to get out my early espresso now, it's a thank you card, and I do like to write, so I don't want to, you know, put too much in there. All right, so I'm going to put some of those bees. Yep, I'm just going to put a bee down here. And a bee going toward it up here. And then on my envelope, yeah, got to decorate that. Not too fancy, though. We're just literally putting a bee. Make sure it's the right way. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's attach that inside, and then I'll show you another one I made. All right. So this is a great way to use the stamp set that comes with your paper pumpkin. Don't let them just sit there on the shelf and never use them. In fact, a lot of the paper pumpkins come with beautiful happy birthday or thank you sentiments. Um, yeah, don't just leave them on a shelf. Get them out. Use them. Use them, they're yours. You can use them long after you've used up everything that comes in the kit. And I do that a lot. There we go. All right, so we're using the Sweet Sunflowers Paper Pumpkin Stamp Set, combining it with the Sunflowers dies from the annual catalog and creating our own designer series paper and then that die cut really just pops there. Here is the one I made earlier. So similar, but you know, I just, I think I added a little bit more. Probably that's the big difference, um, but very similar. And now that leaves me with the, well, this is the one I made last night. I still have two more, two more. I can use for two more cards. You know what? I can make a whole set and give it away as a gift. But these die cuts are gorgeous, aren't they? This, this die set is beautiful. I wanted to show you where it's at in the annual catalog. So the stamp set is on page 35. And these stamps are beautiful, have some lovely sentiments. But then it says it coordinates the sunflowers dies, page 175. And there they are, right there. 
So I would encourage you to get them. They are so pretty, very pretty. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying really hard to get to 500 subscribers because then I'm going to give away a stamp and cut mini emboss machine to some lucky resident of the United States. Um, yeah, I have to give away to United States only. Sorry. Um, I'm also, this I think is going to be video 91 on my YouTube channel. So I'm thinking when I get to video 100, I might do something as well. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you have any questions, email me at boxstarstamping at gmail.com, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.